Hello folks, well this is it, this is uh, my last video before I put out my 45 minute video at the end of everything, but uh, my guitar is done, uh, I am very happy with the way it came out, uh, it plays great, uh, if you wait till the end of this video, uh, you will see that the uh, owner of uh, Iron Smoke Distillery and uh, the Tommy Burdett band. Uh, he demoed the guitar just briefly for me and uh, he was very happy with it. Uh, in fact, uh, he's got a concert coming up uh, at the end of the month and right now we're working at, uh, he's going to be playing it during uh, his concert, which uh, I'm uh, quite uh, excited about. Um, I would say I've had a lot of fun, except for this part of it. This is uh, just a little bit over my head, and it was a little bit stressful for me to be able to build and try to videotape with a camera uh, stuck on a board with uh, rubber bands. Uh, plus, I had to buy a new computer because mine wouldn't handle all the... Uh, editing and uh, size of the videos, but that's what you got to go through, I guess. Um, like I said in the beginning of everything, I uh, didn't want to do anything over the top. I wanted to do something that is uh, able to be reproduced, um, can be sold, can be playable. Uh, and that's where I took the whiskey barrel a little bit different than uh, others where I did sand it down to a good finish. I didn't put a whole finish on it though. It's, uh, it's just a satin uh, finish that I put on it. Uh, so it still has some age look to it. Um, other than that, I didn't want to go with... Uh, antiqued or um, aged looking uh, hardware on it. I wanted to keep it where it looked fresh and new and I wanted it to be something that you would want to pick up and play every day, which it is. Um, I'm, I think I achieved everything I wanted except for um, what happened to me with the neck and I had to redo and make a new neck, which uh, I'm sorry about that happening because that neck was just, oh, it felt great after I uh, burned it. It was just like silk. But uh, all in all, I'm glad that uh, I was able to redo it because, uh, and doing this, this neck, uh, I did do binding on the side, which the other one I didn't, and I, I love binding. So I was, uh, again, able to incorporate parts of the whiskey barrel into the binding. Um, also, uh, you know, I, the manufacturer of the uh, whiskey barrel itself, uh, Anirondack Barrels, put that back here on the headstock just to... Uh, um, use as much as I could. The only thing I didn't use is I was going to use the bun uh, for the barrel and I was going to put it on the back but uh, just didn't like the way it looked so I thought well I'll stop right there. Um, but you know it's it's nice I, I was able to put the uh, Scully uh, logo into the neck and uh, of course it's named Scully and I uh, I loved their their logo, and then uh, off the barrel itself, uh, this is the actual information that they put on the barrel when it was made, and the proof at uh, one fifteen point four, and uh, when I showed it to them, um, they were ecstatic about it. Uh, they thought it was great. So, uh, with that said, um, 
watch the rest of the video. Um, it's, it's not that long, just me putting it together. Uh, and uh, like I said, uh, Tommy Burdett is doing a little bit of a uh, demo at the very end of this for me. And uh, until then, um, I will say cheers to you all and good luck to everybody. Uh, there's been some fantastic guitars I'm seeing. I'm really enjoying watching uh, all the different builds and also some of the characters. They're fantastic. It's just one heck of a community and my hat is off to Ben Crow for what he's doing, what he has done, and what it has to take to put this together and pull it off. Um, there's no losers at all. Just cheers. Damn, that's good bourbon. Now you can see that I'm finishing up the wiring on all the switches and I'm sure that uh, everybody out there that is a Tele fan noticed that I had the uh, um, pickup switch in the rear position uh, instead of the front where it's supposed to be. But personally I just do not like it up there. To me it's uh, an annoyance and it's in the way. Um, so I changed it, put it in the back, and then I uh, changed the volume and tone pots so they're still the same way with the volume in the front and tone in the middle. Um, I think though from now on uh, I'll probably build these without the plate like that and do uh, individual pots and uh, probably change to a toggle switch and uh, I'm not even sure I'll keep it in that position. I may relocate it to a dis different position. The other thing uh, you probably can see here is that uh, I can't get used to guitars that they just use any color wire for anything. But the electrician in me says that black is to be hot and white is to be ground. So that's what I'm doing. That way at least any time I open up one of my guitars, I know exactly what's going on and I don't have to uh, worry about it. Um, next thing you're going to see is that I'm going to check the pickups, uh, which I just did, and make sure they're all working before I button everything up. Now that I have everything checked, uh, just cleaning up the wiring and uh, making it so it's neat and the wires aren't flopping all over and possibly creating any sound in there and now I'm putting in the string ferrules and putting in my strings which are uh, 1046's this is another part of the barrel which is uh, from the barrel comp company Adirondack Barrel Company and this is a picture of the guitar in the uh, barrel room at Iron Smoke. And uh, these barrels are all full of bourbon waiting to be emptied into bottles as soon as it uh, is aged long enough. Thank you for watching. Have a great summer. 
I hope all your bills go good, and we'll see you in October.